Hello, welcome to smallbook.com. This is another tutorial on how to use the content management system, specifically on how to edit a page. So if you want to add a page to your website, first thing you do is you click on the Add Content page. This is going to give you a choice between eight different templates. Now these templates are just here to get you started. If you decide that you'd rather create your own, you can always select any of these pages, delete the table that's there, and create your own. The way that you would do that is just select all, delete, and you've got a clean slate. Then you could create your own table, choose the rows, the columns, the width. When you're using the width, it is easier to change it to 100%. So. When you get to the page, the first thing you'll probably want to do is edit the text. You simply highlight the text and either delete it or start typing new text. There's also preset text formats to help ensure that the text looks consistent across all the pages. So if you were to change this text, you can click here to see some predefined formats and you can click those that way they'll stay the same across all the pages if you have text already you can change the font and the size as well as the color by highlighting the text first and then clicking an option Another thing you might like to do is create a link out of text. So once you have your text, you would highlight it, click the link button, and then add in the website that you want to link to. Then hit OK. Additionally, you might like to upload an image. Now the image is going to be inserted wherever the cursor is. So if you wanted the image here, you would click here. If you wanted the image over here, wherever you wanted it and then you click the image button now there are certain images that will be loaded to your site by yourself and you'll be able to browse those images by clicking browse server now these are the images that are already on the server if you want to add one of these images you would simply double click set the width and then hit OK if you want to add an image that's not on the server you would click add image browse the server and then you would upload an image to your server by clicking upload choose a file on your computer and then once you've chosen that file click upload selected file then you'll look for that image in the window below once you found the image that you want to add you'll double click set the width and hit OK now you might also like to create a link from an image the way that you would do that is to select the image, click the link key, and then type in the website address that you want to link to. Then hit OK. A lot of people use this for logos if they want to link to a vendor or a group that they're associated with. Once you have your images added, you may like to change some certain things about the page layout or format. You can right click on the page and change the table properties. You can also add columns, add rows, delete rows, merge cells, change the cell properties, change the width, word wrap, alignment, background color, border color, and so on. I hope you found this to be a helpful tutorial and before you leave always be sure to decide whether or not the page is going to show in the menu if you want it to be published or not. If it's draft, you can continue to edit the page without it being live on the website. Or once you're ready to have it live to the website, you would click published. And you also need to name the page. And then once you're finished, hit submit. And remember, if you make changes to the page that you don't want to keep, as long as you don't hit submit or update,
can always go back to the pages list and none of the save changes will be saved. Hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please watch the other videos available.